Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, then welcome to my week 10 pregnancy update. I'm currently pregnant with our second child, so please consider subscribing if you're pregnant yourself or you just wanna follow my pregnancy journey because I'm going to be updating every single week now until the birth. So today I'm going to be talking about my week 10 of pregnancy, my symptoms, I'll show you my bump and yeah, let's get into it. So you may have noticed I'm feeling and looking a little bit brighter this week and that's mostly due to my anti-sickness medication which I'm taking six times a day. I'm a little bit nervous about ever coming off of it to be honest. I think at around 12 weeks I'll probably start to wean myself down and see whether it actually makes any difference to my sickness but I have relied on it so heavily in the last few weeks that I'm a little bit reticent to come off of it very quickly because I don't want to go back into that space that I was before of just constant nausea and sickness. Um, but definitely I felt it has been a little bit better this week where I've kept on top of my tablets. I have had a couple of nights where I've just sat and felt really sorry for myself and really miserable. And I find that the worst is like right at the end of the day when I've taken all of my tablets that I can take for that day. And I don't know whether it's just placebo effect or what, but I just sit there and I realize that I can't have any more and I start to feel really quite ill and like self pitiful and sorry for myself but that's only happened a couple of times this week whereas before that was happening literally every evening so it's definitely improved significantly and I'm so pleased that I've now got what I feel is a little bit of my life back. I have started to feel a little bit emotional this week and definitely experienced quite a few mood swings. My poor husband has had to like deal with me losing my rag over just the silliest things and it just comes out of nowhere and I'm not a particularly like angry person so it's been a little bit of a struggle to deal with because well, especially in what I would call my old age, like since we've got married, I've chilled out a lot and we're just quite, um, yeah, like chilled with each other and we don't tend to get too annoyed with each other and we don't argue very often. So when we do, it feels like a real shock to the system. And definitely this week, I know that I've caused a few arguments just from being so moody. Um, but he's been really good about dealing with it and hopefully we'll be coming through the end of that soon. But not only just like irritability um, I'm feeling, but also just feeling quite emotional and quite teary and crying at really silly things. I remember last time in my pregnancy with Grace, I cried to a Ronan Keaton song on the radio and this time I cried to a Simon Webb song on the radio and I'm not actually sure which is worse. Steve says Simon Webb is worse but I think they're both pretty cringe and pretty bad so that's been my week this week of holding back the tears for some pretty minute things. I've also noticed this week that my tiredness has picked up loads like I'm feeling really drowsy and tired especially when the afternoons come so after I finish work I've been having quite a long nap and um, when Grace goes to bed as well and then getting back up at about 10 o'clock and then going back to sleep I'm pretty sure the other day I managed well over 12 hours of sleep like maybe maybe 14 hours of sleep just because I was so, so tired. We've ended up, if you've caught up on my Legoland and um, London Zoo vlog, then we ended up doing quite a lot last week because we should have been on holiday. So we ended up doing quite a few things um, every day and it meant that we were just having these really jam-packed and filled days. Um, and I think that just caught up with me in the end and I was just sleeping so much. Uh, I'm still feeling a little bit tired now, but getting through. I don't actually drink any caffeine normally. Like the worst I would have during the day is like a Diet Coke, if anything. Um, so I'm not finding that I'm missing coffee, uh, for example, but just finding that I'm feeling a little bit more drowsy than I would usually. My bump is definitely growing in size and also becoming more of a pronounced baby bump rather than a bloat, which is what it was before. 
Um, so I've noticed that in the mornings when I'm lying flat in bed, I can feel like the curve of my bump and it's almost like baby sitting on one side. And I did Google and saw that it, it's possible that the baby's implanted on like the right side of my body. And that's why I can feel the baby more pronounced on that side. Um, but it's it's quite amazing really like how quickly the baby grows in the first trimester I think baby is already the size of a lime um, and only a few weeks ago it was like a blueberry so they're really like growing quickly and I'm noticing that in my bump as well so let me show you my bump while I remember Probably not the best outfit to show you in actually, but hopefully you saw a bit of my bump there. I've noticed especially towards the day that it's getting quite big now, and I'm looking forward to getting past this like blow is she, isn't she stage and getting into, yes, actually she is pregnant stage um, because it's, it's quite, I don't know, it's an awkward stage for me in terms of dressing. I'm finding it difficult to find things that are um, that fit me comfortably but on full out maternity wear I need to do a bit of shopping really and go and get some maternity clothes because this time round I'm pregnant at a completely different time of year than I was last time so last time um, I would have fallen pregnant in about two months time um, so all of my maternity wear is like winter clothes I don't have anything really for the summer because I wasn't pregnant in the summer or when I was, I was very, very early days. So I think I need to do a little bit of a haul of some maternity wear, not specifically like maternity clothes because I don't always find those the most flattering and they tend to um, come up big and be better for when you're much later in your pregnancy, which I guess is good because they grow with you. Sorry, my camera slipped then. Um, I was saying about maternity clothes, uh, so they're good because they grow with you through your pregnancy, but I find in the early days they just look enormous, like enormous sacks of clothes. So I think what I might do instead is get myself down to Primark and buy myself some big flowy dresses and some things that will see me through these few um, months of summer. And then hopefully when I get into like autumn, I can start to bring out some of my other maternity bits that I had last time that I can kind of dress down for autumn rather than for winter when I was pregnant before. My boobs still feel enormous and very, very sore and tender, especially like in the nipple area. I'd like caught one as I was getting in the shower today and I was like, oh, that, actually that's really quite sore. Um, so I've definitely noticed that over the last few weeks, as I've mentioned before, but also this week while I was out in the garden, because it's been such a lovely weekend, out in the garden, sitting in the sun, I've noticed that I've got quite a lot of hair growing on my bump now, um, which I remember having before as well. So I get this like really hairy belly. It's just like bum fluff, but it's just so much hairier than it was before. Another joyful symptom of pregnancy. I also mentioned in my pregnancy Q&A that I have decided to have my COVID jab. I spoke about this with my midwife. I said, is there any reason that I shouldn't have it done in my first trimester? And she said, nope, there's no evidence to suggest that you shouldn't. And there's no evidence to suggest that it'd be harmful for you or the baby. So it's completely your choice. And I have decided to go and have that done. So I'm going today to have the COVID jab. I'm pretty sure I'll be having the Pfizer jab, or I think the other one is Moderna. Um, but I definitely won't be having the AstraZeneca one because I'm under that age threshold where that's um, advised. So hopefully I don't have too many side effects from having that done. And finally, I have had my date through for our NHS 12 week scan. So that will be a week today. So I'll update you on that in my week 12 update because I'm actually past 10 weeks now. So it'd be in my week 12 update that I can tell you all about that. And we've also now booked a gender scan for um, around 16, 17 weeks. I know that we could find out at our 20 week scan, but I just want to find out a little bit earlier because even though I said I was it wouldn't, I've ended up going and buying some gendered clothes and I just wanna find out as soon as possible so I don't end up wasting money. I am fairly confident in the result that we've had from the blood test, but I just want to be absolutely certain before I announce and before I continue buying things. Um, but hopefully the result that we've had is correct because like I've kind of solidified that in my head now and I'm really excited about it. So I hope that the scan will reveal the same, but we'll find out at around 16, 17 weeks. 
So that's it for my week 10 update. If you want to follow along my pregnancy journey, then please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of my updates as my pregnancy progresses. And please leave me a friendly comment below to let me know that you've watched. If you're pregnant yourself, then congratulations. I hope it's all going well for you and that it continues to go well over the coming weeks. And I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.